here I am on the county's SharePoint site and I have found one of these test banks that you were talking about. The first thing we need to do is download it. You have two choices here. If you notice when I hover my mouse over it, I get the drop down arrow. I can say send to and then download a copy. Or you can simply right click on the name of the file, the blue hyperlink, and click save target as. When you do that, a menu will pop up. We'll save it to the desktop just so it'll be somewhere convenient. And notice what the name of this file is, second unit one 2014-15.bnk. That lets us know it is a test bank file and not a test file. So I will hit save. Here we see the file is on my desktop. So in order to access it, I need to open up the exam view test generator. So I'll go to start menu, all programs, scroll down your list until you see exam view pro test generator. And then you want to look for the yellow icon, exam view test generator. It may prompt you to enter your name and location. And if so, just enter that information until you come to this screen. So we will create a new test using a wizard, give the test a title. Now we need to go and find the bank. You need to click on the second folder icon, not the top one, but the second one. If you remember, we saved it to the desktop, so I'll click on desktop, be sure the folder name changes, and hit select. Now we see right there at the top, Unit 1, 2014-15, there's our test bank. I'll click it and say select, then hit next. There are 47 total questions. I'm going to go ahead and select all, hit next, and then hit finish. This will put all questions in there. At this point, it is easy to remove a question. All you do is click on it, right click, and hit delete, and you can remove a question. But as it stands right now, this is the entire test, which is 47 questions. When you're ready to export it, you'll go to File, Export, HTML. Demo test. Leave this as Export a Study Guide. I'll get to why we're not going to export it as a test in a second. Um, but just leave it as Export a Study Guide. Hit OK. And once again, we'll save it to the desktop, and I will call it Demo Test, as that's the same name, and I will hit Save. At this point, I can close Exam View. There's no need for me to save this unless you want to. And you see right there is my Demo Test file. So now, I'll go back into the Start menu, and I'll open up Smart Notebook. You may have an icon on your desktop. You can use that as well. Once Smart Notebook launches, we'll go to the Response tab at the top, Import Questions from ExamView HTML. Do you remember we saved up on the desktop? So I'll scroll to my list, and there is Demo Test. So I'll hit Open, and it will take a second to import the file. Import successfully completed. If we scroll back up to the top, go to our first page, and then click on the Response tab, you can go ahead and set, do you want it to be at their own paste or a teacher paste? You can also set, you know, when do you want them to see their answers? Do not forget to go up to the Response button and click Set All Answers. Here's the reason why I, I told you to do the study guide as opposed to the test. It seems whenever I click study guide, it does bring the answers over with it. Um, I would, of course, still double check all of these answers to be sure they are correct. And that is it.